Hey guys, I'm just checking on a refurb that we've just done to this room. So the tenant just left uh, without giving sufficient notice. We had a feeling he had um, his partner in here, his wife, which is a strict no-no. So we were actually going through the eviction process. Uh, thankfully, he's actually left. So uh, did actually did us a favor. Otherwise, nice guy but um, you shouldn't really move people into a room that's not licensed for two people. And we specifically say this at the pre-vetting stage before the viewing, uh, that, you know, HMO rooms, these house shares are strictly for one person only. Obviously, some people are going to think the rules do not apply to them, which is very, very annoying. Um, but uh, they've left. So we've turned the room around. Oh, actually, why is those lights not on? Let me have a quick look. Oh, why is that here? Then? Ah, okay. Well, there you go. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, very annoying. But uh, it actually worked out for the best. So the room's ready. Apart from a carpet burn there, which again, very annoying. Um, now the question is, do we take this from the tenant's deposit because they didn't give sufficient notice anyway? Um, I think they will lose the deposit because this room wasn't in great condition of the two people living here. Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, on to, I think we'll just uh, put a mattress protector on that, dress the room and then we'll continue with viewings. Also, when you do uh, room inspections, always make sure they check the isolator, the on tweets, because they're really important. That's on. Just best practice, just always do it. Uh, tenants do turn it off. Uh, again, very annoying, because they are needed to uh, extract the moisture out there, otherwise there will be damp issues. So hi guys, if you don't know me already, my name is Tuna Gwyn. We're letting manage high quality HMOs and single lets in and around Birmingham. And I'm just doing a quick room inspection to make sure everything is ready. And we will now continue with the viewing and the marketing. All right, hopefully that's been helpful. See ya.